Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Let them rest from their labors, for their works accompany them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. You're all very welcome for our Mass today. I think this is the last time I'm hoping that we're wearing black to remind ourselves of the Holy Souls. I welcome all those who are watching by live stream. And some of you may remember that we had a lady here who made her first communion about a month ago before going into a big operation that I asked you to pray for. She's here now again. Delighted the operation went well. And thank you all very much for your prayers. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life lord have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy let us pray O oh god whose mercy the souls of the faithful by whose mercy the souls of the faithful find rest. Graciously grant pardon for their sins to your servants and to all who sleep in Christ, so that freed from all guilt, they may have a share in the resurrection of your Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw an angel come down from heaven with the key of the abyss in his hand and an enormous chain. He overpowered the dragon, the primeval serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and chained him up for a thousand years. He threw him into the abyss and shut the entrance and sealed it over him to make sure he would not deceive the nations until the thousand years had passed. At the end of the time, he must be released, but only for a short while. Then I saw thrones, and I saw those who were given the power to be judges, to take their seats on them. And I saw those who were given the power to be, be and I saw the souls of all who had been beheaded for having witness for Jesus and for having preached God's word. And those who refused to worship the beast or his statue and would not have the brand mark on their foreheads or hands, they came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Then I saw a great white throne and the one who was sitting on it. In his, in his presence, earth and sky vanished, leaving no trace. I saw the dead both great and small, standing in front of his throne, while the book of life was opened, and other books opened, which were the record of what they had done in their lives, by which the dead were judged. The sea gave up, the, gave up all the dead who were in it. Death and Hades were emptied of the dead that were in them, and every one was judged according to the way in which he lived. Then death and Hades were thrown into the burning lake. This burning lake is the second death, and anybody whose name cannot be found written in the book of life was thrown into the burning lake. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem come down from God out of heaven, as beautiful as a bride 
all dressed for her husband. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Here God lives amongst his people. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God, the living God. The sparrow finds herself a home and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars. Lord of hosts, my King and my God. They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you. They walk with ever-growing strength. Please stand to welcome the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Lift up your heads and see. Your redemption is near at hand. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples the parable, think of the fig tree and indeed every tree. As soon as you see them bud, you know that summer is now near. So with you, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. I tell you solemnly, before this generation has passed away, all will have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, we're coming to the end of the apocalypse, which is a big meditation on the struggle between good and evil. And it speaks here of the book of life. And in a way, we're the book of life. How I live is the book of life. Many people that I meet will never open a Bible, never go near a church, never receive the sacraments. So I have to be for them the book of life. Because at the end of that beautiful reading, we're spoken about Jeru the heavenly Jerusalem is coming down to meet us. God's plan for the whole human race, not just some of us. So how I live should really begin be an invitation, a kind of open door to the gospel and to Jesus by the way that I live. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God, Wash me, O Lord, for my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on the offerings we make for the repose of the souls of your servants, that through these helps to human salvation, they may be granted an unfailing portion among the multitude of your redeemed through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For even though by our own fault we perish, yet by your compassion and your grace, when seized by death according to our sins, we are redeemed through Christ's great victory and with him called back into life. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Anthony our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We have received, O Lord, the sacrament of redemption and entreat your mercy that in your compassion you may give protection to us, the living, and to our departed brothers and sisters, everlasting pardon. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. And thank you, and thank those watching by live stream. Thank you.